What's going on guys? Welcome into the Fantasy Pros YouTube channel. I'm Mike Taglier. Today for a special occasion, we've teamed up with NBA Top Shot to bring you guys a promotional video. What is NBA Top Shot? Well, it's an online only marketplace where you can buy, sell, and trade NBA highlights that you own through a unique serial number. Think of it like a basketball card, only this is not a photo, but rather a video of a specific highlight. Now, these unique video highlights are called moments. Some of them are more rare than others, which you'll see as we get through in our pack opening. The marketplace is open 24 seven to buy and sell moments to the biggest basketball fans in the world. All you do is click on the marketplace up there and it will take you where you can search for players, teams, and or sets. These moments are officially licensed by the NBA. Maybe that's why players like Michael Jordan, Kevin Durant, and Klay Thompson have invested in Dapper. Heck, even Will Smith and Ashton Kutcher have gotten in on the fun. Now, I'm gonna show you guys the marketplace here because I wanna show you a moment that I'm looking forward to buying myself. So, I'm not gonna go with Seth, we're gonna go with Steph. <laughs> we're gonna go with Steph Curry because basically this is your chance to buy moments that are early on. These are early sets, guys. So you can actually go through and you can see that the co they're commons, there are rares down here as you scroll down further. But the one that I was looking at earlier was one of his cheaper moments. And that's why I wanna take advantage of this. This is only a series two. So it's only the second series of NBA Top Shot moments. So when you click on this, you're gonna see what an actually moment is. So Steph Curry, this is why I like this one a lot. I think this is a good deal. $70 is the lowest ask because it's showcasing Steph Curry doing what he does, right? He's showboating, he's showing off, and he's making a defender look silly, and then he just drops off in a three-pointer. They have assists by him, they have all these different moments, but this one is one of the cheaper ones, and I do believe it showcases one of the, the coolest things that he does. So if you click, were to click on select and buy, you can go through, sort by lowest ask, serial number, lowest to highest, they all have different values, but understand what's important to you. So this is where you would select and actually buy a moment. You could also go and list and sell moments if you have them. What we're gonna be doing today for you is going through and actually opening some packs. That's right, I've got two packs that I've kind of stashed aside, one base pack and one premium pack. There are different packs that become available at different times, so just understand that. The base pack comes with three moments, while the premium pack, I believe, comes with five, if I'm not mistaken. Those are a little bit more rare, so I wanna make sure that I, I don't mistake that one at all. So let's go ahead and start with the base pack, uh, which again, you open, it's gonna show up in here after you buy it, and this is how it works. The graphics, by the way, are top notch with NBA Top Shot. I promise you, this is one of the coolest things about it. And I do wanna say one of the reasons that I'm excited for this, the reasons I'm excited for NBA Top Shot is because it brings me back to like my childhood. There was nothing like going down to the local card shop, buying a few packs, coming home and then ripping them open. You know, seeing if I got a Jordan, seeing if I got a Pippen. I was a big Chicago Bulls fan, what can I say? Uh, that's the feeling I get when I open packs on Top Shot. Um, even better, if you want to sell them or if you have moments that you really don't want, you're able to get rid of them right away while without leaving your home. You're able to sell everything online as the marketplace is always right there for you. And if you've asked anybody that's collected sports cards like I did as a kid, you know one of the biggest headaches is getting them graded debating about what shape they're in. You know, is it worth it to trade for this card that's rubbed up on the edge? Uh, with moments, you don't have that issue. It's all right here in front of you. And, and best of all, I mean, if you have kids like me, you don't have to worry about the kids getting their hands on them. So let's just get into this pack opening. I wanna see the moments I get. So let's go ahead, click to reveal our first card. It's a common card and it's gonna show us the serial number here, 26. Four, nine. Up here is a serial number of the cards, right? And serial numbers are very important when it comes to value because a lot of collectors have seemed to value the lower serial numbers. So if you get a serial number in, you know, uh, one through 100, if you get the player's jersey number, it's worth more. There's a lot of different factors that go into it, but understand the marketplace actually walks you through and it tells you how to value your cards because you're able to look and see what other cards in that range are selling for. So. Lonnie Walker, the dunk. I didn't get to talk about that too much. Let's look at the highlight. All right. Comes through. Slice. Not a bad highlight. This one's not too bad. It's part of the base set. It's a common card again. So this is not a rare, but it is a, a 1500. Uh, tw number 2649 of 1500, which tells me there's only 1500 of those made. This little LE down here stands for limited edition. So therefore, they're gonna limit the number of that those moments on that particular video or highlights 
are produced. So that's a good thing to know. There's a limited edition on that. It's a, it's not a bad serial number, 2649, but it's not great. All right, onto the next one, we have a serial number. This one is 11,100 out of 1,500, Serge Baca. So this one, again, it's a higher serial number. It's another common moment. So it's nothing that's out of the or out of the, this world. You're gonna see some moments like Anthony Edwards, when he came through with that crazy dunk that showed up on every single highlight reel, you know, those moments are gonna be worth more. So we wanna keep looking through these packs and trying to find our favorite players, essentially. So me, I'm obviously still a Bulls fan, but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna follow around and, and try and get other players that, you know, are top notch because that's the ultimate idea of collecting cards. It wasn't always about Michael Jordan cards when I was a kid. I was getting Alonzo Mourning because he was one of my favorite players. Andre Drummond, not a bad card, but again, the serial number is extremely high. 14, 531 of 1500. These are all of 1500, which is not bad. Uh, there's different sets. There's some that have as small as I think 49 moments there's some that's high as like 40,000 moments so this is the base pack just know um, that you can get different players in these like that Steph Curry card that I was showing you at the top of the video that's available in a base pack so it's not it's not to say that you're always going to get these type of cards sometimes you're going to get stars I got a LeBron James not too long ago which was always nice all right, so I'm just getting into NBA Top Shot, as you can see by my thing here. I've got three moments pulled. Unfortunately, I haven't done anything to complete challenges. What are challenges? Challenges are allow they're gonna allow you to collect rare moments that are never going to be sold in packs. They're gonna be hard to obtain, but they're gonna be worth it when you complete the challenges. There were no challenges when I was collecting cards back in the day, so I didn't have the ability to do this, but I promise you, if there were challenges associated with opening packs of cards back when I was a kid, I would have absolutely gone after them to get those rare cards. All right, now what are challenges? Well, fortunately, we get to go right here on the website and check them out. So challenges are here, they're available, completed, previous, you can go on any of them. Let's just take it the top one here, the 2021 NBA playoffs round two, challenge four, collect five moments to get this reward. Let's click on it and actually see what you have to do. All right, so do you want this Kyrie Irving reward? Here's what you have to do. You have to go down and you have to collect these five moments. All right, so Blake Griffin, Jeff Green, Kevin Durant, Nicholas Clayton, and Kemba Walker. So if you were to collect all five of these moments, what happened is you would automatically get this reward. Now, this is really cool because me, when I was younger, if they had challenges, you know, when it came to collecting cards, I would have completed them all. So you have this all and it tracks it obviously right on your computer, your, your phone, whatever device you're using. And once you collect all of those moments that are required for the challenge, you're going to get that reward. Now, remember, do not get rid of these moments until you're actually gifted the reward, but it will happen shortly thereafter. But make sure to check out this challenge page because there are challenges for a lot of different things. Depending on which player you want, there's things all over. Uh, challenges are constantly changing. It's changing the cards that you have so collecting more of those commons those things might come in handy at a certain time all right so who's ready to get into this premium pack i know i am all right so again i think this one i want to say that this contains five moments it might be six i i did get one premium pack in the past i just I can't really remember right now let's see it'll show us one two three four five six six moments all right so we have six moments to open up there's our see that blue right there that's telling us it's the rare all right, so we're gonna go ahead and start here. We're gonna save the rare for last. That's what we're gonna do. All right, let's see. D'Angelo Russell, jump shot. Uh, let's see, it's another common 6597. Let's take a look at this video. All right, all right, all right. Not bad, not bad. It's a jump shot. I mean, it is what it is, and that's fine. There's going to be commons. That's just the way it was back in collecting cards back in the day as well. So, uh, but D'Angelo Russell, not so bad. But again, nothing that's going to make us jump out of our chair and say, oh, I can't believe I got that moment. Uh, Jeremy Grant, here's a dunk from December 29th. And that's another thing about these cards. So this is a really high serial number. Um, it's one of the final ones produced, actually. Uh, so you'll see this, and I'm going to show you the back, because there's actually... So when you were a kid, one of the things that I loved most about trading cards is the ability to look on the back of the card and, and look at stats. Nowadays, we have the internet, which kind of shows us all that stuff. But with these cards, you're actually, you'll see when it goes into your collection, I'll pull it up for you, but you're able to actually see uh, the stats from this particular game, if I'm not mistaken. And you're also able to see their stats for their career and or season. So that's pretty cool. All right. So, and that's another thing is like these moments are fresh. I mean, some of these moments, and that's another thing I wanted to talk about was that Steph Curry, that Steph Curry moment was full of a, 
it was in a, a stadium where there was no one in the stands, where it was a 2020 moment. That's that's all it was, um, where you're never going to be able to get that again, because I don't think we're ever going to see an empty basketball stadium again, uh, where it's like it's one of those moments that is very unique. So I definitely like that Steph Curry moment. Um, all right, so I opened this one, Robin Lopez. Okay, not gonna get you too excited. However, this little top shot icon down here, these are little icons that they started implementing just a little while ago. This is the player's first available moment on top shot. So if you were to get LeBron James's first moment, that's obviously big, you know? Um, some of those players that you, you love and you admire and all that stuff if you get their first moment that's typically going to be one of their more expensive moments one of the more rare ones so robin lopez this is this is his first moment so if you guys want to take a look at this highlight here that is an interesting one i don't know if i've ever seen that play but that's uh that's an interesting one to put inside of a clip it's uh I mean, that's a backyard play right there. So uh, Robin Lopez, that's his first moment. All right, so again, I'm gonna save this one. We're gonna go over here and let's take a look at what we got here. Uh, Jamal Murray, a three-pointer from January 7th, 2021. Again, a newer moment, uh, another limited edition one where it's 2074 out of 1500. That's a decent serial number. Um, not one of the higher ones, but also not one of the crazy low ones either. That's a, that's a long one. That was a Steph Curry shot right there. Uh, just pulling up and saying, you know what? I really don't care that I'm, you know, six feet beyond the three point arc. I'm going to shoot it anyway. Um, solid play there. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy. But again, we're working our way through it. Uh, here is a layup, a comment from Dennis Schroeder, uh, from De December 22nd, 2020 in the base set. Again, another higher serial number. I was hoping when I saw Lakers pop up that it would be LeBron or Antonio Davis or something like that. No such luck hopefully you guys have better luck than i do because i'm opening this and it means if i'm not getting them that means you have the chance to do it all right so here's the one that we really really hope for the best with and it's the rare let's see oklahoma city oklahoma city thunder rare 106 blue gents dort let's take a look up and brings it down all right so that, that's a solid highlight but again it's it's more of a premium pack so these ones are are not available all the time when you get a premium pack just know that you have a chance at something really special because you're guaranteed one of these rare moments as you can see this one is serial number 106 out of 499 so there's only 499 of these it's a metallic gold limited edition one um that's really it's really a neat moment to add to my collection i'm happy about it definitely not mad about it uh, but make sure you guys check out NBA Top Shot. It's a whole lot of fun. It's a different way to collect. And it, it removes a lot of the headaches associated with collecting cards from when you were, you know, when you, when you were younger, uh, where you had to worry about, you know, keeping them mint and putting them in card cases and all that. Like this would be one where I would make sure to put it in a card case. That's what I would do when I collected cards. I still have cards from back in the day. And if you could see behind me, actually right there by my thumb, you could see there's a Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card there in a case. Um, I keep those things all around. So um, make sure you guys check out NBA Top Shot. Thank you for sponsoring this video and best of luck in your pack pulls.